For Truth or Fake, our daily fact-checking segment, I'm joined by Catalina Marchand de Abreu. So, Catalina, in today's segment, you're looking at a video that claims to show a Mexican cartel member carrying a U.S.-made anti-tank missiles that are used in Ukraine. That's right, Monty. The claim appeared in this post on a Twitter by Mexican journalist Azucena Oresti on May 21st. Uh, the tweet reads, In Tamaulipas, Mexico, an alleged member of the Gulf Cartel was recorded carrying one of the most exclusive and powerful arms called the Javelin, uh, which has been used during the invasion of Ukraine with a value between twenty to $60,000. Uh, together uh, with this news report that Milenio Television uh, Channel produced on this Mexican uh, cartel member who has allegedly seen it carrying this powerful U.S. missile called uh, the Javelin, a missile that the U.S. supplies to the Ukraine military in their fight against Russia. So similar claims took off on a Twitter where users suggest uh, that uh, that the artillery in question is being sold in the black market by Ukraine into the hands of Mexican cartel members while sharing the same news report. This user, for instance, says a Javelin anti-tank missile given to Ukraine valued at $80,000 ends up in the hands of a Mexican cartel member. And the same claim was even shared by prominent U.S. conservative figures, including Ron Paul or even Vivek Ramazwamy, who is a 2024 a presidential candidate who also claims that it turns out that the U.S. military weapons that they send to Ukraine, including the Javelin anti-tank missile, are ending up in the hands of Mexican drug cartels at the south of the border. Well, so that really got some traction there. Is there any evidence to suggest that this Javelin was smuggled in from Ukraine? There is no evidence that shows that the Javelin or any arms are being smuggled from Ukraine into the hands of Mexican drug cartels. Uh, the weapon doesn't, uh, the video doesn't even show a, a Javelin. The weapon is actually an AT4, according uh, to specialists. We'll explain Raython uh, Technologies, who is the company that manufactures this Javelin, told Lead Stories that the, t the artillery in the clip is not theirs. It's not their product. Uh, they say that the javelin is quite a bit larger uh, than the weapon that we see in the video and that it, what appears in the video is an AT4 shoulder fired arm anti-tank uh, weapon. Uh, they also provided this image of a javelin uh, for comparison that does look like an AT4 right here but it's visibly uh, much smaller, less powerful, less advanced and much less expensive uh, than a javelin anti-tank missile. Yes, yeah, so tell us more what exactly is an AT4 weapon? So an AT4 weapon is an anti-armor weapon uh, manufactured in Sweden by uh, the Saab uh, Bofos Dynamics Company and in the U.S. as well since it's been licensed for production in many different countries. And according to their website, uh, the AT4 is used in more than 15 countries, including wide use in Latin America and even in Ukraine. And this isn't even the first time that this weapon ha or weapons resembling the AT4 have been used uh, by Mexican cartels. We have these videos from uh, 2022 uh, that shows uh, Sicarios uh, while on patrol uh, using these uh, AT4 weapons that look like AT4 or even uh, replicas. Monty. What do we what do we know about the men in that video? Are they cartel members in Mexico? So the video was probably taken in the state of uh, Tamaulipas, Mexico, as claimed by this account on uh, Twitter, Sin Censura Tamaulipas, uh, an account that specializes in information in uh, this area. Additionally, the insignia that we see uh, visible on the body armor of the men that corresponds to the insignia of the Scorpions cartel, a Gulf cartel um, in Mexico, one of Mexico's uh, most powerful uh, criminal organizations based in the state of Tamaulipas in Mexico. Uh, most recently, uh, this cartel was in the news uh, back in uh, March uh, for the kidnapping and death of uh, two U.S. citizens. Monty. Really interesting. Great work. Okay. Thanks a lot, Catalina. That's it for now. We're, we're back with more world news after the break. Stay with us.